hello folks <coughs> it's Paul here from Biking Life God what a morning I'll tell you what I've uh, continuing on from yesterday the actual sound wasn't too bad so hence why you got it and saw it Uh, to do, and I made the dead cat yesterday when I came home. Now <laughs> I made <laughs> I made it out of one of the dog's toys, bless him, uh, one of the fluffy toys. But um, hopefully it's uh, doing a decent job. And uh, the sound quality on the drift at the moment is usable, so you're getting it. But today will be a very, very good day for testing the wind cap. Hopefully, you will be hearing me. Because we have 50 to 60 mile an hour winds today. And yes, I'm going on the bike. We have 50 to 60 mile an hour winds and rain. So it's a good test of the uh, Drift Ghost XL and the little wind uh, dead cat I made. Oh my god, it isn't that blowing. And in fact the audio might not be usable, you never know. The wind cap might not work, I might need to get a proper one. But we'll see. Basically, it's just to diffuse the wind noise hitting the mic. It was one of the mornings this morning, you must all get them, where you wake up and it is dark and you just do not want to get out of bed because you're warm and snuggly. Such well, you feel like you could go straight back to sleep. Yes, I'm getting blown all over today. I can feel it. So we're going to have to be a very, <laughs> going to have to be a very careful ride today, I'm afraid. No going like a lonely tune. Not that I do that anyway. <laughs> Much. Get past this bad. So yeah, I'm braving it just like everyone else. I mean, the bike is to be used, not to be just sat in a garage when we get a bad day of rain or wind. As I say, the only time I won't bring it out is when it's snowing. I don't even mind icy conditions really, but as long as you go careful, it's not too bad. Dear me. That used to be an old mill, I'm sure I've said that before. God, I love this bend. Absolutely love that bend. I mean, more so because I know it very well, but it's always inevitable that it gets ruined by this, by cars in front just slugging the way up like a bloody snail. Well, I managed to use the front camera and mix it in with the video, so I'm going to... I'm just really learning all about that, so I'm going to do even more, and... Uh, it's getting it synced in, which I think I did a decent job. Come on, people. Make an effort. Yeah, I think I did a good job of the syncing. Um, see, the audio was coming from the Drift Ghost XL, but the video was coming from that camera there, which I haven't got on 
this morning. And I won't be putting that on today, so it's too much to concentrate on trying to get that on and uh, that on. But uh, what I do have with this Drift Gold Stex L is a remote control. Uh, it's blowing a pulley here and you'll probably be able to hear that wind but anyway I've got a remote control for that uh, well that gets cloned to this and this controls both so I can switch them on and off together just by I'm going to attach it onto top of here I hope this isn't the end of the uh, nice weather, but I hope we do get some nice days. And now we're going to go slow. How we are. We're going to brave it and get past them. Well, it's trying to keep me upraised. <laughs> wow, that is pretty bad. Yeah, it's supposed to be 50, 58, 60 miles an hour. And I'll tell you where I can feel it. But I can't wait to get here today and uh, upload this footage to my laptop. Because I bring my laptop to work every day. And I'll upload the footage to the laptop. Oh, I've got blue all over there. Well, the old banner. And uh, I'll suck out the audio and see what kind of uh, audio we've got, considering it's blowing 50, 60 mile an hour winds. Yeah, this weekend I will be going out, the weather's not looking too grand, so it's bike maintenance weekend this, I'm going to get some bits and bobs for rent. Yeah, so, I mean, I could be in a car today, but I'd miss out on all this, and I'd miss talking to you guys, which is very important to me. May I don't get all the views, but the people that do watch it mean a lot to me, and it's nice. You know, even if it's 15, 30 views, those 15 and 30 views are the ones that that do mean a lot to me and I'm happy to continue making these for you lot well it's not just me who's going on a motorbike see that bloke might only just have a bike oh bless him he's panicking there that was going wrong with his I don't think he trusts the bike there because he threw his leg down to keep him up. Which isn't good. Bloody white vans. Those are the kinds I can't stand them. You can't see bugger all. Yeah, there's nothing worse than being afraid to turn corners in wet conditions. I remember being exactly the same. Even though I'm an experienced rider, or, or thought I was an experienced rider. There's always one that parks like that, cuts you off. Yeah. I used to uh, be really frightened, especially when the roads, uh, with that hot weather and the, and, and the roads then got sort of, sort of greasy and slippery with the rain. But uh, no, I'm, I'm not like that anymore. I was sheltered here from uh, the wind a lot. We've got these massive trees.